Round two, FV action. It's a beauty, it's a belter, it's a rip snorter. Yes, yeah, so I think we'll start with the Melbourne Knights had that. Uh, that's the first game to kick off in the MPL Victoria against the poor Melbourne Sharks. Uh, early red card to Nikola Jokovic, as I did mention before. Another chance here for Melbourne Knights. They've been pressing, perhaps an open net here. And there was no keeper on the line. Finally, it's in. And Melbourne Knights have scored. Wins it back for Melbourne Knights. Dizel looking to play in toward Mikulic. McGarry. A man in space. And a little chip over the top. It's hit the burst. It got into the back of the net. It's 2 0. It's Alan Webb again. Over the top of the ball as we speak is Nahal Bernada, who has been quiet this evening. Bernada's free kick. Not quite finding a way through, but finally they score at the back of the post. It will count. It will count. The goal scored by Josh Mika. Box is whipped in from Rizuki from that left-hand side. Headed away. Clear by the first man. Well controlled. Breaks kindly, shot on goal! Oh, it's flying in! That's an absolute belter! And Eastern Lions, it's been a torrid week for the football club, losing their coach from last season, but what a strike that is! For safety in his centre half, who just lost that one forward, flicked on nicely from Bates, so it could be in one on one! And he's equalised for South Melbourne! Two in two, Varus and Sawyer! And the former A League talisman. Shows his worth in MPL. By Maricic, we go straight to Jigo. And it's cut out by Langlar. Now Brennan gets the rebound. Bingham. That will be offside if Markalov touches it. But he lets it go and Bingham continues. Bingham can shoot and finish into the bottom corner. Josh Bingham puts it away. Smart play by Markalov. And Bingham gets Hume's first goal of the season for 2021. They Absolutely right, George. The ball goes over looking for Polyak, and it's a chance for Anthony Polyak. He can finish it here, and he does! Anthony Polyak has made himself a hero to his new Green Gully faithful. It's for the Greens to find the delivery here. Canilia. Ball into the box, headed clear. Falls out to the edge of the box. Now a chance to strike. Deflection, falls to Alexander. Great chance for the Greens! Oh, what a finish that is from Jacob Alexander! An early set piece here is always something that you want early in a period. Is Ball's clipped into the box and over the top and there's a free kick given. Now the referee is pointing. Now what's he given? But the referee is pointed to the spot. An incredible start to the second half this would be for the Port Melbourne Sharks. It's Dugan here who steps up and is denied but they're on the follow up to score the easiest goal of his career. To get the shot away, it's blocked in the end. Well defended there by Port Melbourne. Zidias this time, plenty of space here to get a cross in. He does angle the ball in. Oh, it's a wonderful header in the back post. And Damien Yakonis is the one who scores. It will be a corner kick here for Port Melbourne. Look to take it quickly, delivered in towards the back post. It's a great cross. Oh, it's an equaliser. What a moment for the. For the Port Melbourne Sharks. Be hopeful of grabbing something late though as the ball over towards the back post. Now a chance for Diaz here. Whips it in again. Looks for the central area of Quall. And he's won it. Surely for the Port Melbourne Sharks. And who else but a Quall. And look at the celebration. Well, what a moment that is. They win the throw in Dandy City. Liam McCormick Ooh. goes down. There's a challenge in there. And that is a penalty to the home side. Big moment. And he scores straight down the middle. The opening goal of the game for Dandy City. We've had, uh, I can't remember his name, uh, an Aussie is the top, top scorer in Iceland. Uh, not a bad ball in danger here for the home side. Oh, and there's the equaliser. Right. The equaliser against the run of play. St Albans get one back. Claims for handball from the Dandy City bench. Waved away from the referee. 50-50 ball here. The challenge goes in from Topalovic. Now a chance for St Albans. It falls loose for Adam Holdor. Holdor should score. And Holdor does. What a comeback from St Albans. Wow. It opened up. And they take the lead here in the derby. 
Miles again. He just has this innate ability to keep running with the ball. Rye challenges and he's done it there. Joe Knowles whips it in. Thurtell! 1 0 to Oakley. And Joe Knowles, what a magic solo run to tee that up. Judge the high ball well. Way going up against Pachkowski. Drives it in low for Jackson Lino. And out of nothing, the Burgers have their equaliser. And the man who came into the starting lineup to replace Sean Ellis has his goal. Now Avondale back on the attack. Top that in yard box. Chachewski, he scored. And he's pretty happy with it. Why wouldn't he be? It was a beautiful run. Trying to hit about a nine iron too. Breeze is very strong. Near post, glancing header, that's in. No, off the line again. And it's in finally. I reckon it came off Hillier. But that's a two oh, that's a two-nil game. Out to the right wing. And they get their way into the area. Rolls over. It's actually an Avondale player that keeps it in. And half a chance there. Tries from the grandstand for something. And now a simple chip from Vince Lea has got the magic back in the game. Outside. And then bring it back in again. Time's not on their side. Sarchewski launches one. Head out, down, equaliser. Holy moly, what drama here. <laughs> what drama here? Draws the curtain on an absolute ripper.